Pisces. Welcome to Angela 333. Today we're going to do your January 2022 reading, seeing what's coming in for the new year. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. A couple things before we get started. One, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box if you'd like to check that out. And the second item I have for you is I am now on uh, Instagram and TikTok. You can follow me if you'd like to check it out. I do post daily messages. So addresses uh, for each of those is in the description box. It's also on my YouTube story. So with that, let's pull some messages. Get started with your reading here, Pisces. What's the energy here for Pisces for January 2022? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? All right. Okay, so Pisces, what I'm picking up here, there's a love situation I feel here um, that you may be feeling like someone here is not putting in the effort here, okay, is what I'm going to say. There's definitely some sort of struggle I see here. You have the Ten of Wands and you have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you've kind of pulled back, pulled back your energy here, Pisces, in this situation because I feel like it's a situation where maybe you have been the one here carrying the weight and the connection or the relationship. I see definitely that uh, you're pulling back your energy here, but at the same token, I see a bit of attachment, you know, still feeling attached to this person. We're going to clarify. Let's see here. You have the lovers and you have the justice. So you have very strong uh, Libra energy and very strong Gemini. So I definitely get here. Um, this is a very, very, I feel you have a very strong soul uh, contract with this person, very strong soul tie, soulmate energy. Um, I feel that you have definitely a spiritual connection with this person. Okay, somebody here, you know, like I said, there's a very deep attachment between you and this person. But like I said, I feel you pulling back your energy here because I feel that there is something heavy about this connection here, okay? And you may be feeling like you haven't been treated right. Now, you have the Five of Pentacles and you have the Ace of Swords, all right? So I feel like there's some sort of communication, some sort of clarity that is coming in uh, for you regarding uh, this connection here with someone. You have the Page of Wands as well, all right? So definitely see out of the blue here some sort of communication that is coming towards you. I want to say here too, for some of you, you could be uh, struggling with a financial situation I'm picking up at as well. Uh, you could be waiting for some sort of offer uh, for a legal settlement or a legal situation, okay? Or there may be some sort of decision around that. So with that, let's clarify the cards and see how this plays out. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles here, please? Okay. So you have the Nine of Swords. You have the Four of Cups. And you have the King of Cups and bottom of the deck here. You have the Sun card. Could be dealing with a Leo. I want to say also we have Aries. We have Sagittarius. We have uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So clarifying that Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Swords, you have the Four of Cups, and you have the King of Cups, okay? I feel like you pulled back your energy here from somebody because I feel this is somebody who hasn't been giving um, emotionally, may not have expressed how they feel or 
you know, feel about you in a situation. I do feel this could be somebody here, like I said, who hasn't been putting in the effort, somebody who hasn't, um, you know, an energy here where, you know, you're, you're giving in the situation, but you're not receiving. Okay. So feeling rejected, you definitely could be feeling rejected here. Okay. But I do see here with the sun card, um, there's something, there's some sort of communication coming around. Let's see why the lovers and the justice card is here. Why is the lovers and the justice card here? Okay. We have the six of cups. The Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Tower. So Tower is showing up again, like I said, it's with here with communication. I feel there's some sort of communication that is coming through to you that's going to give you some sort of clarity. You have uh, the Six of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and you have the Eight of Cups. So... I feel it's a situation where, again, you feel a very strong connection with this person. I feel whoever walked away in the situation, I feel that you and this person are going to have a conversation. I feel that you and this person are going to try and work things out, okay? It feels like your heart, it feels like your heart is very heavy. I'm hearing that message. Um there's this, there's that burden here that I see you carrying. Okay. So you, you know, whether it was you who walked away or your person, somebody walked away here in the, in the connection. And I feel there's still an attachment, okay, between you and this person. Now, remember that roles can be reversed. So if it does resonate better the other way, then take it how it resonates with you. But let's see why the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords are here, please. And then I will ask what your person is thinking or feeling about you. Why is the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords here, please? You have the Nine of Cups. The Judgment card and the Nine of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, look at that. Lots of communication coming in here. Eight of Wands energy. So I feel like there's a little bit of a weight here, okay? So it's interesting with this card. I always say in my readings here in this deck, I always feel like this person is waiting for that text, waiting for that call, but they, this person actually has a bowl in their hand, right? Like they're waiting to be fed. So feeling in a situation, you may be feeling there's lack of communication between you and this person, but I do see there's some sort of clarity here. I feel after a period of time, maybe feeling frustrated, maybe feeling like you've been through a lot, okay? I see um, communication coming in from this person here or conversation between you and this person. You have the judgment card here as well. So I do feel like this person is returning here from the past. I do feel um, this is an energy where uh, the two of you may have gone through something here to learn some sort of life lesson, some sort of karma. You also have the Nine of Cups. So it looks very hopeful. This may be something you've been hoping for, you've been wishing for. Uh, definitely get here. Look at that. Yeah. The Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and you have the Lovers. Again, strong Gemini energy. So I feel like there's been some sort of break or separation uh, between you and this person. I feel like this person has taken some time to really think about things. And now I feel that after a period of time, this person is rushing in here with some sort of communication. Let's... Um, See now what your person is thinking or feeling about you. All right, so I'm going to pull what your person is thinking or feeling about you. We'll see what, um, and then I'll take it to the extended and we'll ask what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, love messages, and guidance. So what is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces? Okay, you have the Seven of Swords. You have the Hangman. The Queen of Wands, I'm going to do one more on the Chariot. Okay, so this person's been strategizing, I feel here, how to come towards you, okay? So you have the Seven of Swords, the Hangman, 
And it may be that this person here is you know, strategizing to communicate how they feel here because I feel this is somebody who may be avoiding their feelings. It's somebody here I feel that doesn't show a whole lot emotionally here. This person can be a little bit insecure uh, with the King of Cups. That's one of the King of Cups you know, uh, faults, I guess, or traits here, but uh, this is somebody I feel who has been strategizing, okay, and also uh, maybe seeing things from a different perspective than they did before. You have the Queen of Wands and you have the Chariot, so this is somebody who is getting ready to take action towards you and uh, to get things moving again with you and this person here. Now, I want to say here you could be dealing with a Cancerian. I also want to say there could be some travel distance between you and this person as well, okay? So actually, I want to pull, um, I'm going to pull three more messages and just see what else comes out for you, Pisces. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Right, you have the two of cups. So now you have the lovers. You have the two of pentacles, lovers and two of cups. And you have the temperance. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, yeah, four of cups. So I feel like um, Pisces, you may be feeling here. I feel like you're focused here on the situation, whatever it was lacking between you and this person, I definitely feel like you are focused on it, all right? Now, there is, this person is returning here with an offer, and I feel like you may feel reluctant, hesitant, you know, not sure if you want to continue to put the time into this connection or relationship, okay? You got the nine of wands here as well, and you have the five of cups, okay? So it shows me it feels like there has been some sort of break between the two of you. I'm getting, you know, four or five months or four or five weeks. Um, it's going to be different for everyone, but I feel like... Um, Pisces, I feel like you're not too sure about this situation, okay, because I see that this person may have caused you some worry, some doubt, right, maybe even some anxiety, okay, so you have the two of cups, you have the two of pentacles, and you have the temperance, you've got strong Sagittarius energy, you also have here um, Scorpio and Pisces as well, I mean, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so we basically have all the signs here. But what I want to say here, Pisces, is I feel you 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 have a very strong connection with this person, but there's definitely something imbalanced here. And I feel it has to do with uh, give and take. And I feel like this is what makes you hesitant, okay, about this situation with this person. So I'm going to take it to the extended Pisces. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.